And welcome back to the channel guys, Gvids here. If you guys are new around here, make sure you do subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any future content. And today I'm going to show you guys how we can force spawn um, pretty much any non-diggable collectible item. Um, so I'm going to go around and show you guys a few spots here where there should be some collectibles, but there isn't at the moment just because the day cycles aren't lined up for them right now. Um, but with this glitch we can pretty much force them in regardless of the day cycle. Uh, so there's normally a little item here and then another one just over here. Now we can do this anywhere around the map. I'm just showing you this spot because I know there's a bunch of cards here um, and they're not here right now so this is a good location where I can show you that they're actually being forced spawned in. So you're going to want to stand close to the item that we're going to be spawning in. Um, we're going to press start, move down to online, and then we're going to go to free roam. Now, if the items are inside of a house or um, something like that, you can just stand outside of the house. It totally does not matter. You do not need to be directly in front like I was there. You could have just stood in front of the boat and done the same thing. But anyways, we're going to run back to these locations now and go ahead. And now the cards are there for us to pick up and add to the inventory. So now we're just going to throw that in the satchel there and uh, go grab these other ones here that I showed you at the start. Now, like I was saying, we can do this absolutely anywhere around the map. Um, some locations are really, really good, and uh, you can use the collector's map to find little hot spots around the map. Um, or you actually, you can head on over to Lamps Gaming. He has a really good location for this, a few of them actually. Uh, and if you guys do go over there, make sure you do say what's up for GVids. Give him a thumbs up or something like that. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and grab this. I'm going to take you to one more location here uh, where there's no cards and we're going to force spawn them in. Again, does not need to be tarot cards, just that's the items that are there. So we're going to head on over there and I'll show you guys just one more time um, generally how it works and uh, that you can basically do this anywhere around the map for any non-diggable item. So we're going to go in here and there is no tarot card and then we'll go over to the next location which is just up the ways here. And there should be, there will be another one here. So now all we just need to do is press start, go down to online, and then join to free roam. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then free roam. And then once that loads back in, we're just going to simply run on over back to the house and the barn there. Again, this can be any location around the map, it does not need to be here. Like I was saying, uh, there are some really, really good hotspots out there. Just simply use the collector's map, which I do have a link in the bottom below. And now the cards are here for us. And we can simply throw that in the satchel. And run on over to the other one down here. And it should be there for us as well. And there we have it. So we can definitely take advantage of this, uh, find some nice hot spots and load up our satchels filled with collectibles. Um, a good little tip is maybe have a, a trader run or a moonshiner run uh, working on the background. So when you do this for an hour, you can simply just pop over there and do another run. Anyways, guys, I really do hope that you find this helpful or informative. If you guys did, I would really love if you guys could share, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.